Hello super user, today we're going to learn how to break beams according to the time signature incredibly quickly. It doesn't matter if you're in a simple time like 4-4 or a compound time like 6-8, it is that easy and yes that was real time. To do this we're going to need three things, first a plugin named RGP Lua, second a script that RGP Lua will run that will break the secondary beams, and third a software like Keyboard Meister or Hotto Hotkey to make it that quick and simple to actually use the script. And this is all based off a project I have been working on with several members of the Finale community to quickly speed up our Finale workflow. You can do things like create indeterminate clusters, create advanced notation, you can even fix annoying Finale bugs like getting hairpins to look right, and even doing things like deleting excess articulations. And everything you need to know about this is on this site. So to get started, first head over to finalelua.com and click up here on help and install plugin. This is the instructions for helping you to install the RGP Lua plugin. Select your operating system, I'm on Mac OS, select your version of Finale, and finally, select which version of the plugin you want to use. RGP Lua is recommended, select that if you have the option. And then it will give you detailed instructions on how to install this plugin. The exact process is slightly different for everyone, but essentially it involves downloading this RGP Lua file and making sure it is under your plugins folder inside Finale. Then you're going to install the Lua script that actually runs this. So on this website, go to View Scripts and search for Break Beams, and you should find the script called Break Secondary Beams, and you're going to download this. Once you do that, in Finale, you should then be able to go to Plugins, Lua, and find RGP Lua, and you're essentially going to add that plugin right here using the Add button. Once you do that, restart Finale, highlight a section of music, and then you should be able to see the Brick Secondary Beams script inside this folder. And this Lua script will even create a secondary menu item in here called Clear Secondary Beam Breaks that will allow you to actually remove these secondary beam breaks in case you don't like them. And if you need more help with exactly how to install these Lua scripts, again, you can go to finalelua.com, click up to here to help, install scripts this time, and it will give you step-by-step -step instructions on how to actually install Lua scripts. And the last thing we need is a quick way to actually run the script. Now, I have a Keyboard Maestro macro that basically using a keyboard shortcut I can then search through all my Lua scripts because as you can see, there are literally hundreds in here. And that way I can search from them by name and quickly run them. Now I already have a video on how to do that. So I'll link to that below the like button, but it does use a software called Keyboard Maestro, which is Mac OS only. However, if you are on Windows, I would recommend a software called Auto Hotkey. Auto Hotkey is essentially the Keyboard Maestro equivalent for Windows, and Jacob Winkler has a great blog post about how to automate Finale using Auto Hotkey. So I would definitely recommend that out if you're a Windows user. 